question. This extreme heat will put a strain on our power supply, so utility crews are going to be out there working to keep the systems from overloading. No easy job. WBZ's Tiffany Chan is live with that story tonight in Cambridge. Tiffany? It's about 90 degrees in Cambridge, and with that humidity that rolled in, it feels much hotter, and that's why people are cooling off in many different ways. One being going to one of the city's many public pools. This one in Cambridge appears to be a popular one, but being outside can pose some real dangers, and that's why Boston's mayor is urging people to stay cool and hydrated. Temperatures are inching towards triple digits in and around Boston, creating unbearable, even dangerous conditions for those working outside. In this type of heat, you have to take breaks. If you don't take breaks, you're going to get one of these guys hurt. From dehydration to the potential of a heat stroke. All possibilities for utility crews working high above and layered up in protective gear. One worker says it feels much like a sauna, but less relaxing. Wearing your clothes and this stuff into a steam room. And by the time you're done, you're already, I mean, there are times, I think I've lost five or six pounds just by standing in the bucket. The sweltering temperature so extreme that Boston Mayor Marty Walsh declared a heat emergency through the weekend. People are flocking to public pools, even taking a dip in Boston's Frog Pond to dodge the summer heat. Feels good because it's cold. And the perfect treat for a sizzling hot day? Ice cream. It's melting pretty quickly, that's for sure. I just got it. Yeah, it's half gone, yeah. As temperatures continue to climb this weekend, residents and tourists alike appear to be heeding the mayor's call to keep cool and hydrated. And those utility workers are playing it safe by taking breaks every 10 to 15 minutes, even drinking water, hydrating between those shifts. And if it does reach 100 degrees in the city this weekend, we could break some records because the last time it was that hot was July 2011. Live in Cambridge, I'm Tiffany Chan for WBZ News. Tiffany, thank you.